Hi, it's Grandma Annie and Freddie. And guess what happened at our house? All of my toys fell on the floor. So my other animals that were in this box, they fell on the floor. And then all my bugs and insects that were in this box, they fell on the floor. And so we picked them all up off the floor and I put them all together in this box. But they're all mixed up. So I was hoping that you could help me sort them out. So I have these little tiny tweezers that I got to help pick them up. Those are help me with my fine motor skills. Those are the things that help you cut with scissors and write and use Legos and play with puzzles. All of those tiny little things that you have to do sometime. So let's pick one up. Okay, look at this, Freddie. Do you know what this one is, Freddie? So can you tell me, is this a bug or insect or is it another animal? What do you think? You're right, it's a bug or insect. So we're gonna put it in this container. And then let's look at this one. Freddie's all excited about this game. He wants to get in this box and play, I think. Ooh, it's hard to pick them up with tweezers. If you can't have a hard time picking them up with tweezers, then you could probably use your fingers if you wanted to. So what is that one? Is that a bug or an insect? What do you think, Freddie? Do you think that's a bug or an insect? Or is it another animal? I heard you say it's another animal. Okay, I'm putting it in this one. Okay, let's get another one out of here. Let's see, which one should we get? Let's get, oh, let's get this one. It looks like a good one. It's a red fly. Would a red fly be a bug or an insect? Or would it be another animal? I heard you, you said it was a bug or an insect. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. Okay, and then let's see, let's get another one out. Oh, how about this little guy here? Oh, I'm having a hard time picking him up. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Now, do you think that's a bug or an insect or is it another animal? You said it was another animal. Okay, I'm putting it in this one. Well, we're really getting our toys sorted out now. That's cool, let's do one more. Oh, how about this great big old bug here? What is this thing? Look at that, look at all the legs he's got on him. Wow, he has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Oh, you know what? I heard that insects have six legs, so I know he goes in this one. Okay, and then Let's do one, oh, let's do this one, because I'm not sure what it is. It's a dinosaur. Do you think it's a, oh no, what happened? Oh, I'm just dropping it all over. Okay, look at that, that's a dinosaur. Do you think that's another animal or is it a bug or an insect? It is another animal. Okay, we're gonna put it there. Well, Freddie and I, I think we have a lot of work to do to get our work done around here. But thank you for getting us started. Now we know just what to do. So we hope if you have some toys like this at your house that you can have fun trying to sort them out. And you don't have to use tweezers if it's too hard. You could even use tongs if you have those in your kitchen. Or you could just use your fingers and pick them up like this and then sort them out and put them in the right spot. So have fun with your sorting and classifying and all of that kind of stuff. You know what classifying means? It means you figure out which container they go in. So I know you can do that. Okay, bye. Bye from Grandma Annie and Freddie.